Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. And Roger with a puzzled look on his face. Um, I am expecting a little present, but I know it's coming. And I believe I know where it's coming from. And this isn't it. Now, I just opened the top. It's upside down at the moment because it's got my address and everything on the front of this. And um, some sort of dirt stuff fell out. And according to the label on the front, um, I'm not sure this is <laughs> this should have been posted. I think there might be some porky pies on the label on the front. But... Um, <laughs> I'm not sure what the hell that is. <sighs> yes, I do. Yes, it's just dawned on me. This is a present from Rose. And she said it'll look dead, chuck it in some water and it'll come back to life. I need to go and look this up. <laughs> I need to go and find, find out what the hell this is. That's not what I was expecting in the package, quite honestly. Um, that package is obviously... Uh, still on its way. Um, oh, I'll have to go and read my emails and find out what the hell I've got here. <laughs> right, I'll be back. I'll go and um, find out what the hell that is. Right, so that's sorted that out. I just had a vague recollection of something in an email. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, obviously I was um, sending rose plants and you know, obviously emails were swapped and all that sort of stuff, but apparently this is a Rose of Jericho. And I put it in a dish of water and it will come back to life. So here we have a dish. It's just going to get some RO water. I don't know whether I'm supposed to bury it in water or just dip it in water, but... Well, if we go halfway... Is that deep enough? I bet it floats. I don't know. Right, and then apparently... It comes back to life. Now I'm going to have to go and look this up because does it come back to life today, this year, next year? <laughs> so I'm going to go and have a look and see what the hell this is and what it's supposed to do. Rose described it as a sort of fern-like thing or sort of like a bit like zombie moss <laughs> comes back from the dead. <laughs> anyway, um, something to play with, something to go and look up and find out what the hell I've got. Thank you, Rose. That's uh, not, was I, not what I was expecting in the package. I was expecting the other thing that you're sending me, um, which hasn't arrived yet. <coughs> it's obviously on the proverbial slow boat rather than the quick boat, but uh, I was never expected to be quick anyway. OK, we'll have a play with this and um, see what happens. Updates will follow. Sometime. <laughs> I've got to go and look this up now. As if I haven't got enough to do. See you next time. OK, this funny thing. Um, got put in water yesterday. It's opened up and it does have slightly greenish tinges, which implies it's alive. <laughs> um, there's two types of Rows of Jericho. I had to go and look this flipping lot up. Cheers, Rose, if I haven't got enough to do. Um, and basically, one type comes from the Middle East, you know, Walls of Jericho and Biblical Apocalypse and all that sort of cobblers. Um, but the other one comes from desert areas in the States and around Mexico and stuff like that, which is this one. And it seems to sit somewhere between a fern and a moss. So it's a strange plant, no doubt about that. And this one doesn't tend to blow around. The other one is effectively a tumbleweed, you know, whereas this one can detach itself and curl up and dry up and blow around in the sand. Um, but then when moisture appears, you know, it can also establish itself and stay put. So, uh, yeah, so um, care for this one. Pretty easy by the sounds of it. They are susceptible to mould, apparently, so you have to keep your eye on them. Um, don't like to get cold, and don't like bright light. So that sounds easy enough to look after. At the moment, that's going to go on the kitchen windowsill to see what it does. And um, they can be potted. 
but uh, I need to do a bit more looking up to find out how to keep this long term. And although it's a bit of a, you know, a novelty to be able to make this dry out completely and curl up into a dead ball and then rehydrate it and get it to undo it, apparently if you keep doing that, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't do them a lot of good. And some people actually put these away dry and bring them out at Christmas as like a sort of novelty thing for Christmas and watch it sort of open up and green up again and then dry it off and put it away again. But um, I'll have a think about whether I want to actually just grow this or play around with it and, you know, do the silly thing with it. I think I'd prefer to just grow it as a plant and see what it does. It does look quite attractive and I love ferns and I love moss. So, uh, anyway, it, it looks as though it's got greenish tinges. It will take a while to green up properly. I mean, it's only had what, 12 hours in the water so far, but it's completely opened, so uh, an update now and again to see how it goes. Strange little thing.